Hello there YouTube, um, doing a follow-up video on my Studio A810. Um, if you remember from my previous videos, you'll remember that I um, recapped this unit and um, calibrated it and the unit worked perfectly. It has been working perfectly for the last couple of months. And um, something happened uh, a couple of days ago um, that was kind of unexpected. I had never seen that before. So you might ask, why is it that I'm tearing down the the the, um, the deck again? So I will explain that. So what happened was I was playing tapes the other day, and when I hit play, the, 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 the tape runs, and then about half away in the tape, when the reel reach, when the when the take up reel reach half away, the deck the deck stops. So I'm like, what's going on here? So I went and I just hit play again, and it started to play, and within about five or six minutes, the deck stops again. So I was wondering what happened here. Don't know. So hit play again, the same thing happened. So I hit rewind and the said thing happened, the deck stopped. So that kind of threw me off. I didn't expect that. I didn't know what's going on here. So what I did um, was I first uh, get my service manual. And I and I went through the service manual, uh, looking at the the transport section of the tape, and I couldn't figure out what was going on because I I tested the the end of tape sensors and also the tape move sensor, and those are good. The end of tape sensors, the, these those sensors are underneath these panels right here. They're underneath there, so. Um, so in order to get to it, I had to remove the head, I mean the head block, not the head block, just this piece here and the, the pinch roller and then this panel here and this and it just comes out. So those were fine, the sensors were fine, so I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I consulted a, a, re, a, a studio guru and he says to me, um, why don't you look at the MPU board, MPU PC board? So, so the MP, the MP, the MPU board is under here. So you got to lift this up, and this is the board unit, the MP unit, this board. So it says what you do is take out this board clean the edges the the, um, the socket edges and um, reseat reseat the buffers those are ICs on the on the um, on the deck on the on the card and try that and see if see what happened so I take out the board take out the board clean the clean the, the contacts the edge and I remove the ICs. I remove every IC except the CPU and the PROMs all on, on this board. So I remove all the other ICs, clean the pins, and clean the IC sockets. Then I insert the card and close it close close the panel and um, and the the uh, the deck start working so I, I I put back the same tape on on there and I rewind it and I played that tape through its entirety and the deck did not stop so I take another tape put it on and run it through the deck still did not stop so I'm saying wow 
that was an easy fix, but nowhere would I be able, no, no, how would I be, no way would I be able to tell that was a problem. So thank, thanks to the guru for helping me on that. And now it works. Now, another thing that wasn't working, well, it's, I wouldn't say it's not working. The other thing that I noticed was that the, the CCIR lead right here and the NAB lead was not, was not responding to these switches, right? When you press CCR, CCIR, the CCIR lead supposed to light up and, and then NAB, the NAB lead light up and tape one, tape two, those should light up accordingly. Those weren't lighting up at all. The, the, these, the LEDs were just stuck on tape A and on CCIR. Now, when I, when I was calibrating the deck several months ago, this light, it, the deck was on CCIR. I know that because I have pictures that shows me that this thing was on CCIR, uh, on um, NAB, not CCIR. When I calibrated the deck, this was a NAB, not CCIR, NAB. I cal calibrated for NAB. And I have pictures, I went back to my pictures and I see that the NAB light was lit. So I don't know how come this, this CCIR light get lit. So that was bothering me, so I didn't know what, what to do there. So it turns out that um, in order to change these lights, right, you have to hit the stop button while you press the NAB CCIR or the tape, tape one tape, or the tape A, tape B. I didn't know that. And the manual, nowhere in the manual did I see that. I looked through it and I, and I didn't see that instruction at all. If it's there, I did not see it. So I'm not saying it's not there, I just didn't see it. So anyway, later on I discovered that there is a jumper underneath this, this board here, underneath this panel here. There's a jumper about right here, right? That defeats the stop button, right? Which means that if you, if you change the, the position of the jumper, which I did, now I can select CCIR, NAB, and this, these, the LED respond accordingly. So does the tape A and tape B, they respond accordingly just by removing that, just by um, switching that jumper. So that's set, that's working. So it's all good. So I say while I'm while I'm at it, why not um, look at the real motors? Because what happened was I discovered this while I was 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 um, rewinding the the deck um, during this issue that the the supply motor was noisy. So I took took the opportunity to um, to pull down pull out the, the um, boat motors and I'm rebuilding them right now. So this is the um, this is the left reel motor right here. This one was very noisy and I I rebuilt I put new bearings in here already. But I found one thing interesting something I found interesting which I will show you because this one kind of easy to um, to pull out So
when I pull this brake drum off, I see these um, these washers, right? But there there are a few more washers in that same position. And the other reel motor, the right reel motor, does not have the extra washers. So I was wondering why the extra washers? Why do they have more washers? This this one is a little bit bigger. So when I when I after I put the bearings in and I reassembled this, I decided to just put the same amount of washer on this side as on the right as on the right hand reel and I'm and I'm beginning to, th to, th to think about it because when all the washers are on on here right and you put the real the, the, the drum on Then you put this clip inside, right? You notice that the, the entire drum can move without the but just the just the drum alone moving. And that didn't make any sense to me because what's supposed to happen is this. This device here, our washer, supposed to be like that on the on the on the on the head here, so that now it can't move because of course I'm I'm holding it. But if if I hold here, the entire thing can move, right? So with the extra washers on here, I'll just let I just demonstrate this to you. So you see this move. So if I tighten this, if I tighten it, it the entire thing will move, right? But this device is not holding on to the middle piece. And that's how it was when I took it off was just like that with all those extra washers on it so my 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 problem is if after a while the screw the nut start to back out get loose this thing is going to just spin or the motor will stop you know only the motor will spin but this this won't spin the reel won't spin because this piece here is supposed to itch onto that, to that shaft right here. So with the extra washers, it will not catch. This will not catch that piece. So, um, I don't know why they would, they would put extra washers on there. So my guess probably, my guess is that when they break when the brake uh, goes on onto the brake drum, probably the brake band doesn't go um, snug over the over the over the brake the brake pad. I don't know. I'd have to check that out. That's just my guess. But it's, but it, it's clearly not catching, and this can spin. So I think what I will do, I will, I will skip, I will not put the extra washers on here. I will not put the extra washers because I want this thing to, to catch the edge. I want it, I want this one to catch the hedge, to hold it in like that. So it's holding properly. The right hand is no problem. The right one one is fine. So,
right now that's where I'm at with these with the um, with the deck I will be reassembling it shortly and of course as always I take a lot of pictures you know pictures because the manual warned you to take pictures of the um, of these wires when you take them off which I did so no problem I have pictures to see how they go on back um, the studio a810 is no is no walk in the park I like the deck and uh, it sounds real nice and everything but it's complicated it's very complicated and um, and it's it weighs a ton I mean this thing this thing is is very heavy you know so actually it's the heaviest deck I have so that's where I'm at with this deck right now um, I'll be I'll be reassembling it and um, and get it working again so thanks to um, thanks for watching and thanks to the um, to the studio guru uh, who helped me with this issue with the stopping of the tape oh another thing um, I, I should mention is um, in the manual the manual show for the real motor the manual shows that there are one two three four spring washers that's supposed to go in, in the motor after bearing right this is a bearing then these are the spring washers then you have a c-clip it shows you four but only two were found in in each of the real motor so I, I reassemble them just as is with just two I don't know why they would put four yeah and um, just to touch on the CCIR issues again all the all the um, dip switches for the CCIR and all the the settings for the deck are located here in section 4 of the manual it tells you everything about it so for new for newbies like myself who have a studio a810 and working on it just take time just take your time and go through the manual um, I find the manual a little bit cumbersome you know but you know just take your time I take my time alright thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye